So we're just going to start, as always, with our um, Ashtanga practice by coming to the front of the mat and just standing in Tadasana mountain posture. Okay, so that's big toes to come in together. Um, lifting the inner arches so we're active through the feet and then just spreading the toes and then lifting the kneecaps up, engaging those quadriceps, front thighs, and then as you work your way up, engaging through your muscle locks. So we've got a root lock, which is Mula Bandha, okay? So you feel that perineum squeeze, okay? You're holding that, and then you're drawing in and up through your deep abdominals, your transverse abs, which is like a corset of muscles wrapping around, deepest set of abdominals, okay? So we're engaging those, and um, so we've got that cool contraction of um, muscle locks going on. So nice and uh, relaxed down through the shoulders, chin slightly tucked. Take the hands to prayer if you want, close the eyes if you want, and ujjayi breath now. Pranayama, most important part of our practice is that is in the breath. Just calming everything down and just focusing on your breathing. Feel that breath into the rib cage. And on the next in breath, reach up, follow your thumbs and exhale, fold. Draw the abdominals in, soften knees where you need to take the hands down, tucking the head. Now look up, inhale, chest lifting. Flatten those hands, step it back. So we're either high plank or knees down. Exhale, Chakaranga Dandasana. And then tops of your feet. Inhale, first back bend, tuck the toes, and into down. So draw the abdominals deep in. And check the feet at hip distance. Check the hands or shoulder distance, fingers spread. And if you want, you can add a little bit of pedaling those heels up and down initially. And just check in and see how that feels. So remember, we're all coming at this from our different levels. So remember that you are building this practice and it is a practice. And if we keep it going, then all will be coming and you will be getting far more out of the body. So we bring the feet back to the hands and look up in here. Exhale, you will fold and tuck your head. And inhale, reach it up. Pull your thumb. From here, we're going to go straight back down, draw the belly in, and fold down. Hands either side, soften knees where you need. Look up, inhale, chest lifts. Flatten those hands, step it back. Keep your body strong and long, lower down with the elbows tucked. Tops of your feet, inhale. Lift your chin, open up, and then tuck the toes. And set up for down dog. So we should have the hand shoulder distance, finger spread. And really press down from fingertips and through into the heels of the hands, push through the floor, open the shoulders away from the ears and then try wrapping them around and under and then lengthen out through the spine and all the way down through the back of your body. Sounding the breath in the back of your throat. Your gaze, your drishti can be to the back of the mat or to your knees or to your navel. Look up, bring the feet back to your hands and inhale, lift the chest, exhale, folding again. And inhale, reach up. Follow the thumbs. Big stretch and then exhale. Once again, we'll go straight down to Uttanasana, your forward bend. Inhale, lift your chest, flatten your hands, step it back. High plank. Low plank, can you hover that body off the floor? Transition to your up dog, back bending, inhaling, tuck your toes, tuck your, tuck your toes, tuck your toes into your down dog. Hips are high and soften knees where you need if that feels better. That's more of an iron dog position. Yeah, or oh, straighten the legs out. So remember, bandas, root lock. Mula Bandha and Udiyana Bandha Abdominal Lock, all the way. 
And then you can step or you can jump. Feet to your hands and look up, inhale. Exhale, folding. And inhale, reach up. Follow the stumps. Exhale, fold again. Straight in, no stopping. Inhale, chest lifts, flatten hands, stepping back. Body strong and long, elbows tucked to ribs, in breath, lift the chest. Open the chest into down dog. So now let's step your right foot forward as far as you can. Find that position, stretch your left leg away. Take your right hand up to the ceiling and breathe. Stretching the left leg away, pushing the floor away with the left hand. Now bring that right hand down inside of your right foot. Maybe your left foot. Take your left hand up and open up. Come back. As you decide, if you want to, with the right leg, you can lift off the floor. If you're feeling that you want more challenge, lowering down Chaturanga and inhale up the tops of the feet, exhale down, dog so with your breath. Stepping your left foot forwards now and sending the right heel away, lifting the chest. Take the left hand up to the ceiling and open up. Core bones nice and wide. Bring the left hand down inside of the left foot. Pivot the right. Open up on that right side and then come down. This left foot, bring it back, look at the floor or keep it lifted and then lower down. Exhale, inhale up though, eyes on and into down. So, starting to feel that heat building now. Breath number one. Press down between your thumb and your forefinger. And then roll your shoulders from your ears. Sounding the breath in the back of the throat. Look up, bring those feet back to your hands and inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, you're folding again. And then this time we're gonna bend the knees for Utkatasana, Fierce Warrior, inhale. And then exhale, straight away, fold it down. Tuck the head in. Inhale, lift the chest, extend the spine, step or jump. Look forwards, come down, chakaranga, elbows tucked in breath, lift your chest. Roll your shoulders back and exhale to down though. So now pivot your left foot and step your right foot long. Come up to Virabhadrasana, reach it up. Come back, stay with your breath. High plank to low, exhale. Inhale to up dog, chest lifts. Exhale to down dog. Now pivot your right foot and step your left. Come up to your warrior one, left leg forward. Reach it up. Come back down. High plank. Exhale, elbows to ribs. In breath up dog, thighs are on, shoulders rolling back and then tuck the toes to back. So really starting to feel that heat building now. That's what you're after. We're trying to build that heat to get the body moving with greater ease. And then we maintain that heat through breath and movement, vinyasa, throughout the practice. The hotter you are, the more you will get out of the body. And it's a short practice. So really trying to work through these sun salutations here to build the heat. And then bring the feet back to your hands. Look up, inhale. Exhale, fold it, and then bend those knees again, press the knees, reach up, and we'll fold once more. Exhale, tuck the head, chest lifts, inhale. You can step or you can jump. Come down, elbows tucked, in breath, lift the chest into that back bend every time a wee bit more into down dog. Give it the left, step the right. To the pace, we start to pick up a bit if we can. Reaching up, we come back down. Exhale, chakaranga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pivot your right and step your left. Reach it up. Over your thumb. Come back down. Strong high plank. Exhale, elbows to ribs. In breath. Chest lifts. And into down. Okay, down dog. Roll the abdominals in, breathe into your ribs, sound the breath in the back of your throat. 
Open your shoulders, so stretch the mat sideways to open those shoulders. You're broad across that upper back, you're long through your spine. You're working those heels down. If they're down, maybe shuffle them back a wee bit further. Look up, feet coming back to hand, stepping or jumping, inhale, chest lift. Exhale, fold, tuck the head, now bend the knees. Root lock, abdominal lock, inhale, and then return to the basso. So step or jump your feet hip distance apart. Take your hands to your hips, engage through bandas. Push the hips forward a wee bit if it feels okay, inhaling. Look up, look back if it feels okay, a little back bend before you fold down. And reach for the big toes. This is Padra Gustasana. First two fingers around big toes, soften the knees, inhale, look up where you need, exhale, fold. So shake the head, release the neck. Pull on toes, press on top of fingers. Breathe, draw that torso down, draw the head in, lift the sit bones high, shift the weight through the feet. Look up, inhale. Take the hands underneath your feet for Pada Haskasana. Inhale, lift the chest. Press down on top of those hands. Tuck the head, lift the sit bones. Open up through the back of the knees. Obviously, soften knees where you need. This is a much deeper stretch now and releases your wrists from Sura Namaskar. In breath, chest lift. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale to power up. Step or jump. Your feet back together, Padasana. Inhale, right foot steps out, round about two and a half, three feet. Tuck the left foot, turn the right. Keep those hips offset and reach the right arm along. And reach the left hand high. So the right hand's going to go down the leg or the foot or the big toe. Stretch to the ceiling or the sky if you're lucky enough to be outside. Open up and breathe. Sound the breath in the back of your throat, and then inhale, come up, tuck your right foot to turn your left. Reach it long, left arm. Reach it high, right arm. Hand down the leg, the foot, or the big toe. Open up, sound the breath in the back of your throat. Breathe into your ribs, and then come up. So we do a rotated triangle. Step the right foot out a little bit. So there's a line running down between the feet. Take the left hand down to the outside of this right leg or foot and twist to your right and reach the right hand up if that feels okay. Otherwise, keep it on the hip. So you've either got hand on floor or hand round the leg. You're working from your center. You're breathing into rib, sounding the breath in the back of your throat. You're coming up. You're making as smooth a transition as you can to a rotated triangle, left leg forward. So the right hand comes down to the outside of the left foot or leg. And we twist and reach and open up on the left side. So if the hand is on the floor, you push the floor away. If the hand is on the leg, focus on that rotation. And then come up. And return. So we should be feeling that heat now. As we step out again, we go wider, okay? And we turn the right foot. So extended side angle posture, bend the knee, knee above ankle. You could rest your right arm down as you reach up and over, focus on the ribs lifting to the ceiling, or you track the right hand down the outside of that leg to the floor and reach. If you want more than that, you wrap your left hand behind your back. You take the right hand underneath your thigh, you reach for that hand or wrist, then you draw the chest up, then you breathe. Wherever you're at, stay with your breath, strong foundation, come up. Turn around, left leg is forward. So we could rest left elbow down on left thigh, reach up and over, lift the ribs. So watch you're not dropping down, so we're reaching. Over left hand comes down, get the foundation of your posture. Those of you that want more, wrap the right hand behind your back, left hand underneath thigh, and draw the chest to the ceiling. Bring the shoulder back, breathe into ribs, strong foundation with the legs. So we're gonna miss out the rotated version and come back to the front of your mat. 
So if we step it out, toes are in, heels are out. So Mula Banda is on, your root lock, abdominal lock is on, Udhyana Banda hands to hips, inhale, exhale, pull. Take your hands to the floor. So soften the knees where you need, look up on the in breath, hands shoulder distance, and exhale, folding. So at that point, if you can go further, you bring the hands further back towards the back of your mat. You tuck the head in and you shift the weight through the feet, lifting the sit bones high, engaging those thighs, those quads, but if you, that's too much, bend the knees. Breathe. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale, hands to hips, inhale to come up, release the arm. Now turn the palms around, interlace your fingers. So you can either have palms open or palms press. Open the chest, inhale, root locks on, abdominal locks on, inhale, look up, exhale, full. So again, we're strong from the floor, toes in, heels out, push out through the edges of your feet, lift the inner arches, and then tuck the head. And now work with your breath to open those shoulders, the chest, Stay strong in your core, in your thighs. Breathe. Bandas to come up. Release. And then we'll come back. Okay, should be feeling a lot more open now. Standing in Tadasana, the root locks on, fingertips to your elbows or hands up your back into inverted prayer. So see what's doable for you. Keep challenging yourself. Step the right foot out for a short posture. Step the left foot out slightly so there's a line running down between the feet. The feet are only about two feet in length. Look up, inhale, and then pull. Draw your chest down. Spread your toes. Nice wide base, spine directly over that front thigh. Legs are strong, but not locking out. You're working as if you're trying to get your chin to your shin. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. Strong from the floor and into core, and then come up. Turn round, set yourself up. Back foot comes round at 45, square the hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Mula Banda is on, Udhyana Banda drawing in. And fold it down. So, long and over that front leg. Breathe. Remember what's happening with those hands, when you take two elbows or palms pressing. Come up on the in-breath. Release, and then come back to the front of your mat. So next round of the sequence, standing sequence is balancing, okay? So if you need the wall, uh, go to that. If it's not, then what you want to do is take your left hand to your hip and draw your right knee up. Find a point to focus on. Standing leg is strong. Get hold of this right foot, maybe big toe, if you want, or just stay holding on to shin just now, and you can press out to big toe balancing. So you've got one of those going on. Remember, work with your body, building up your practice. Breathe. The legs out and big toe, then you're drawing the leg back to the hip socket. You try lifting high on knee and nose before drawing the leg to the outside. Standing leg strong, left hand on hip. Try looking over the left shoulder. Breathe. Come back to center. Can you reach for your foot and draw the head and the knee towards and then hold that leg out? Hands on hips. Standing leg strong. Keep that lift. And then lower. Right hand on hip, left knee comes up. Stay there in that deep hip flexion, standing leg strong. Or first two fingers around big toe, press. So find that strength, find that balance. Try lifting a little higher knee and nose, draw the leg out. Maybe look over that right shoulder, breathe. Come back center, lift a little higher. Maybe wrapping hands around the foot before you release and that legs as high as you can. Obviously, where you need hand under thigh. 
push the floor away with the standing leg and release. Okay. So next right of balancing is to open the hips but not stress the knee. So once again, draw the right knee up to your deep hip flexion. Reach for your foot with your left hand. Draw the heel of the foot up towards the crease of the left hip. Take the right hand to wrap behind your back. Can you bind with your left arm? Or could you try and work it further down? Or can you bind with your foot? If you've got your foot, you could release your left hand. And if you're feeling confident and strong and stable and everything feels good, you can fold from there. You can let me know how that feels. Standing leg strong, breath number one. No stress in the knee. Standing half bound lotus, release. And then take the left leg up. So keep that gaze down and forwards. Keep that focus. Reach for your foot. And draw the foot up to the crease of the right hip. Take the left hand, wrap it behind your back. Bind with your right arm, or maybe further down, or maybe to foot. Standing leg strong, bandas on. Breathe. Always come back to that breath. Number one. Then remember bandas, root lock, abdominal lock. And then you can work with your body to get more out. Release. Okay, good stuff. Come back to the front of your mat. Stand in Padasana. Ready for warrior sequence now. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, you fold. Draw your abdominals in. Inhale, lift your chin. Flatten your hands, step or jump. Look forwards, come down, elbows tuck. Chakaranga Dandasana, in breath, up dog, chest lift. Tuck your toes down. From here, we're going to step or jump those feet to your hands. Bring the feet together, press the knees together, the thighs together. Sink down, pull the belly in. Sink the tailbone down, reach the hands up. Stretch to the ceiling with the hands, but drop the shoulder blades down the back. Look up if it feels good or look forward or down. Sink the heels down, sink the tailbone down, engage strongly through Udiana Banda, abdominal lock. Inhale, stand, exhale, fold. Inhale, chest lift, flatten hand, step or jump. Look forwards, come down, elbows tucked. In breath, lift your chest. Roll your shoulders back, exhale down. Do. Then your left foot, step your right. Coming up. Bit of a drasana one. So, arms coming up and back. Gaze can be up, can be forwards, can be down. Back leg is strong. Left side of the hips coming around to square up. Breathe nice and deep. So either stay here or if you want another challenge, we could interlace fingers behind back. We could stay there. We could take the weight through the front leg and try lifting the back foot off the floor. This is just an added extra, as if, as if we haven't got enough to do. Draw the belly in, stretch the arms away, stretch the crown of the head away, come back down with control. Reach back up to warrior one, turn round. And then into warrior one, bit of a drasana one, left leg forward. So set yourself up strongly, right side of the hips coming round, reaching up, drawing the belly in. Press the floor away with the back foot. Stay there or wrap the hands behind interlacing fingers. Shift the weight if you want. Lift the back foot if you want. You can stay on the floor if you need for sure. Breathe. Lift the back leg. Four. And then come back to your warrior. One. Now, split the hands apart. Get the heels in line. Get a little bit more length in that posture. Open the chest, drop the shoulders down the back. Stretch the fingers away, breathe into ribs. 
sound the breath in the back of the throat. Tuck the left foot in, turn the right. Bend the right knee. Knee above ankle, draw the chest open, drop the shoulders down the back. Gaze out to the outstretched hand. Bring both hands down. So this right foot, if you want now, you could lift it. If not, keep it on the floor. Come down, chuck that angle, elbows tucked in breath, up the chest lift, and exhale down. From here, stepping or jumping, sit yourself down on the floor, get your bum cheeks out of the way, and sit tall. So, sitting in Dandasana, hands by your sides, pushing heels away, drawing toes towards where you can. Take some breath. Remember, you can just always come back here. Take a nice deep in breath. Lift the chest, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold, pull the belly in. Reach the hands as low down your leg or your feet as you can. Wrap them round the legs or the feet. Inhale, chest lifting and folding. Exhale. And breathe. So you draw that chest down and forward. Relax your gaze, your drishti. Pull the belly in, send the tailbone away. And either come back to sit in Dandasana, or we could cross the legs, roll over the feet, and go through Vinyasa. Or you could make that more dynamic with Vinyasa. Up to you. Stay with your breath. Stepping or jumping, feet back to hands. So if we come back to Dandasana, and I track the hands behind. Purva Tanasana. So as you open the chest, lift the hips, stretch the toes towards the floor. You can keep tucked in with the chin or keep the head back. That feels too much to keep the hips lifted, too much work. Bend the knees, bring the heels underneath the uh, knees and lift into tabletop. Banda's breath. And come back down. And if you want to do vinyasa, you can. Otherwise, sitting in Dandasana, taking some breath. So we're going to get this right foot. We're going to draw into the inside of the left thigh. And we're going to twist round to make sure that we are then going to be folding directly over this left leg. So we reach down for your foot or your leg. Find a comfortable position with your right foot. If it's too much compression in the knee joint. Take the right foot further forwards or straight out. Breathe. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. And release. So from here, you could do vinyasa, you could do reverse plank, or you could join me with hands just a little bit further down the thighs. Okay, take an in-breath and fold, draw the chest down and forwards. Now try to lift your hips and pull your heels towards you. Okay, and lift your body up and off the floor. Real core engagement here, and upper body strength to keep the heat going. Right leg forward, left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Okay, push the heel away, draw the toes, lift up, inhale, exhale, fold, and reach for the legs or the feet of that right leg. Roll the chest forwards, pull the belly in, breathe into ribs. Sounding the breath in the back of the foot. So you can do vinyasa or you could join me with crossing legs and try tolasana, scale posture. Hands either side, we try lifting hips, we also try lifting feet, pushing the floor away, breathing deep. And release. Left leg goes long. Right foot. Draw that as tight in as you can to. The outside of that right uh, hip there, so you've got a palm's distance between foot and thigh. 
minor chest in the A, right arm reaches forwards inside of right leg. And then you try wrapping this arm around that leg. And then maybe you can reach and find the other hand. Or wrist. Then press against the shin. Draw the shoulders square. And draw the body forwards, nose towards toes. Pulling your belly. Standing leg strong. If all of that feels too much, you are going to stay sitting up and breathing. Finding good posture. Breath is there. Release from here. You could do a vinyasa, or you could join me with reverse plank posture or tabletop. Stay with your breath. Wrap your thighs in if you're in your uh, reverse plank, Kuvatanasana. Come back down. Take your right leg long, draw your left heel in. Palms distance between foot and thigh. Take your left arm and reach and wrap around this left leg. And then see if you can find the other hand or wrist. And then if you can, you're folding forwards, taking that nose towards your toes. Breathe. Press against the shin. Release. From here, we're going to all cross legs. And we can either do a uh, rolling over or step or jump back. So we come to high plank, down to low, exhale, inhale, to up dog, find your down dog, then hold it in down dog. Draw the abdominals in. So we're going to take the right leg to the ceiling, stretch it high as you can, stretch the left heel down if you can, lift the right foot higher, side on, now bend the right knee to lift the knee and open the hips. Now bring the right knee through towards your right hand and take your right foot towards your left hand if you can and stretch into pigeon so back foot ball of the foot you really don't like this lie on your back do figure of four holding down if that feels good so relax breathe sit down keep the back leg active and away Come back with the hands, push back up to your downward facing dog. Roll your abdominals in, keep the hips high. Take the left leg up, big stretch, right heel coming down. Turn that foot side on, lift, 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 lift. Bend the knee, open the hips, now bring that knee towards the left hand. Take the left foot towards the right hand. Only as far as you can, listen to your body. Especially those knees in this one, stretch the right leg away. So they can be ball of the foot, back foot, or top of the foot. So you may be tighter on one side than the other. And as you know, that's the side that you need to do twice in your own practice, or focus purely on that side, or do more breaths on that side. So we relax down in the hips here, but we keep strong and active on the right leg. Stay with your breath. Opening the hips, come back, push back down dog, draw the abdominals in. From here, stepping or jumping, and sit yourself back down on the floor. So we're going to lie back now, and we're going to bring the heels in towards the sit bones. Tuck those heels in, invert your toes slightly, peel your spine up and off the floor, and lift your hips. Squeeze the inner thighs, work the hands under. How far can you get them under? Are you going to interlace them? Hips are lifting, inner thighs are squeezing, or are you going to wrap them around those ankles? Or are you going to take them side of the head and push up either to resting on the crown of the head or come up to your upward bow? Pushing the floor away. And Come back down wherever you're at, hug your knees. From here, we're going to roll up to sit bones. So if we're off the floor, well, the band is on, Udi and the band is on. Reach the arms away. If you feel you can do more, start to extend the legs. Breathe. You're in boat, Navasa. 
chest lifts, strong in the thighs, the hip flexors, and then roll back. Bring those heels tight in again. We'll try one more back bend with the hips. So focus on that strong engagement through thighs, inner thighs, pelvis. Find that position, either interlace fingers or wrap hands around ankles. Or you could take hands to hips and get more lift. More hands side of the head. Come back down. Hug the knees. Roll up. Find that balance. Sit tall, good posture. Reach the arms away. Think you can do more. Start to extend the legs. Pull the belly and lift the chest. Reach the arms. Find that breath all the way. Cross your legs now. Rolling over those feet. Step or jump them, whatever feels good. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Come to your down dog. Come down to your knees. And then place your forearms on the floor, interlacing your fingers. So we're going to get ready to do, 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 do either your headstand or preparation for headstand. Maybe you don't want to be going into headstand if you've not been doing this practice for some time. Unless obviously you're confident with that. If you've been working with your headstand for some time, you can do for that. So just I'll talk you through preparation for it, which is dolphin posture. So head stays off the floor, looks through to the feet, tucking the toes, press the floor away with the forearms, lift the knees, walk the feet up, keep the head lifted, space between the ears and shoulders, keep the thighs on, keep the belly on, breathe. Anytime you need to, you come down, you soften the knees where you need. If you can, you try lifting the right leg up, big stretch up as you push the floor away. Head is lifted. Both legs are strong. You could change legs. Bandas all the way. Ujjayi breath all the way. Bring both feet down again. See if you can hold it. Breathe. This is building that upper body strength, allowing you to do the shoulder balance. Come down. And arm balance, even. Rest back in child's posture. Rest the head on the floor. Breathe into ribs. Sound the breath in the back of the throat. Come back with hands to the front of the mat. Step back. So high plank, exhale, chakaranga, inhale to up dog, chest lifts, thighs are on, into down. And then the lightness in your body, bring your feet back to your hands. And then cross the legs. So find that cross-legged position for you. So that could be lotus, half lotus. Or if you need something underneath to give the hips a lift, do that. So you want to relax and open at the hips. Take the fingertips to the elbows behind the back. Roll the chest forwards. If you're not finding that, uh, you know, if that's feeling restrictive, release the hands and stretch out. Breathe. And then come up and rest those arms on top of your thighs. Thumb and forefinger engaged. Other fingers stretching away. Tuck the chin. You can gaze beyond the end of the nose here, your drishti, or you can close your eyes as you engage strong through core, root lock, abdominal lock, and focus on your breath. So this is the foundation of your practice in the breath. If you want that last challenge before we complete the physical practice, as either side, Mula Bandha, we do and we try to lift up. And we can short, sharp breath in and out through the nose as you push the floor away, or you can continue that Ujjayi breath. Okay. 
and then coming down. All right, like that. Time for Shavasana, dead man's posture. So, a few deep breaths in and out. Find the position for you. Allow the body to release completely. And just surrender yourself to Shavasana. Gradually, your heart rate is going to be coming back down. And um, we'll have a steady state of breathing. That's what we're aiming for. So, if you only have a short time for Shavasana, at least get to that stage <laughs> where the breath is back to a steady state. And you know that you are focusing on that breath, nothing else. So let the muscles of the face really release in the eye, rest it into the eye softly. So we do our physical practice to prepare ourselves for Shavasana. So keep returning to your breath. And wherever you feel that breath most prominent, whether that's the nose or the chest or your belly, all of that. You could also place the hands onto the belly and follow the rise and fall of the navel. So just take a deeper breath in and out a couple of times and bring your awareness back around, fingers and toes, what was that? Walk the heels in and hug your knees to your chest. Roll side to side. And roll to your right. And then come back. Namaste.